Hello everyone, I'm Ramon. Welcome back to Ramon at Home. I'm so excited you're here today because I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful floral summer basket for your entry door or any place in your home. It is done with all white flowers and a variety of greeners and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna hang it with just a regular door hanger and I think you're gonna love it. So if you wanna see how this is done, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like the video and share with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for future decorating ideas like this. Let's get started. All right, everyone, the materials we're gonna use for this beautiful basket for our front door is a large basket, and you can find this at your local, um, I found this at a local thrift store, but I know I've seen them, large baskets like this at my local craft store. So go keep an eye on them, whether it's at your Goodwill store or at one of your craft stores. We're gonna use a whole bunch of hydrangea. I think on this case, I have 10 in a variety of greeneries. I have some ivy, I have some magnolia foliage, I have some grasses and some palm leaves that we're just gonna mix to give it a very lush, um, a look to it. As you guys can see, I already inserted the foam in here and it's very tight and I just started greening uh, the foam. What I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and cover that foam with some of this greenery and I want them to, um, some, of, uh, some of them can go down, some of them can go up. So the secret here is that we just want to go ahead and cover this basket using all of this greenery. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a long one going down so I'm gonna select this guy right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and poke it through the foam so it extends its way down like this. I'm gonna move the hydrangea so you guys can see what I'm doing. Just gonna go ahead and put it over here for now. We'll bring it back in a second. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just cover all of this foam with the same foliages going up and down. And I just wanna cover all the rim of the foam so I don't see it so easy to poke and one of the secrets as I told you guys before is to go ahead and uh, leave the foam in the container or the wrapping that way it's when it crumbles you don't have to pick up the mess that it leaves because if you guys have worked with this florist foam then you know that uh, it is a mess when it, it goes all right all right so I'm gonna go ahead and finish greening this basket and I will be back with you to show you what it looks like when it's all greened all right, you guys, so so far I have added all of my greenery into the basket and it really is getting a very voluptuous look like how I like it and I think it really makes a statement if you just let it take over that door and it really create a beautiful focal point like we will with our hydrangea. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just start adding hydrangea to the foam and I'm just gonna go ahead and poke it where I can and we're gonna try and let them fly out a little bit. We're gonna tuck some in, but some of them I want them to go wild uh, on the basket. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and poke a few of these beautiful hydrangeas. And I'm gonna start right here and then I'm gonna work my way out. And I think that's really going to give it that really full and lush look that I'm going for. Like I said, tuck some in, let some of them just fly out and it will give you that beautiful, beautiful lashes look and then also let them spill forward into uh, your basket i'm gonna add one more up here and then we're gonna add some ivy and some grasses and magnolia foliage which i really think it will help it give that really rich in southern style that we're going for as you guys can see it really is looking really full and beautiful so, so far so good. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some of this magnolia foliage that I also found at my local uh, craft store. And what I like about this is because it's a bigger foliage and it really helps to like get texture, if you guys can see. And there's nothing prettier than, at least for me, than magnolia and hydrangea mixed together. I absolutely love the look. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this and just wanna go all the way around the perimeter of your basket like so. And as you guys can see, some of them are spilling forward, some of them are up high. And because some of them are up high, I'm gonna add some of these beautiful grasses that you guys have seen me use on both the centerpiece that I've made. If you haven't seen the long and low centerpiece, I really recommend you check it out. And then also I used it on the uh, on last week's video, uh, which was the orchid arrangement. And I just love the way this grass uh, really gives it a more garden feel and nothing prettier to me than a whole bunch of greeneries mixed together. All right, so, so far, so good. I think this guy fell out. 
we're going to go ahead and add some of these beautiful ivy. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut right here. And I just, want it, I just want the ivy to be on one side of the arrangement. So I'm gonna go ahead and poke it right here. So I really want that ivy to flow over and to spill. And we're gonna do a very long one because I want it to go over the basket. So I think I'm gonna just leave it right here. And then when we hang it on our door, we're gonna go ahead and fluff this beautiful ivy and it's just going to look absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stick this one down like this. And the cool thing about this ivy is because you can fluff it and make it look fuller, which we'll do once the basket is hung on the door. And I will show you guys in a second what that looks like. Uh, let me see, so far so good. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I think it needs another flower right here, which I have, I'll be right back. Now, as you guys know, this is a little short for where I want it, but you guys have seen me use these wooden picks that I love to use, and I'm gonna go get them real quick. And the reason why I love these wooden picks, if you guys haven't seen me use them, is because it really extends that stem and it will put it where I need it. Instead of having to tuck it under, then we're gonna be able to just extend the form and to be able to place it higher where I really want it to be like so. All right, you guys, so, so far, this is what it looks like. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna go put it on the door and I'll show you what it looks like all hung on my door. I'll be right back with you. All right, you guys, so this is what the basket looks like hanging on my door going into the garage in my kitchen. I absolutely love the way this turned out. It is very dramatic and very easy to make in replacement of a wreath of a swag, and I absolutely love the way this turned out. As you guys can see, creating a beautiful floral basket in replacement of a wreath or a swag for your door is super easy and very affordable. I just love the way this turned out with all of the white flowers and all of the greenery, especially the mixture of greenery really creates that very dramatic look. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up and share with a friend. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what's the next video you would like to see here Ramona Home. Give me some ideas and I promise I will get them. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for future decorating ideas like this. And until next time, bye.